Hi Pemba, Colton at Nissan here. I hope you guys are staying dry over on Quadra today. Uh, I do have my manager working on that Range Rover that you sent me, but apparently the dealership over there is being a little bit sticky on the price that they have for it. Um, so we're trying to get it for the price that they have it listed for to sell it to you. But apparently they're being a, a little rough on the price of selling it to us for. So in the meantime, I wanted to send you this video here. This is a brand new Nissan Murano, which is our luxury step up from the Nissan Rogue, uh, which is a little bit bigger than the cash guy that you have now. Um, so this vehicle is actually made in the Infinity factory, so it really is made to be the luxury step up. And I did pull the base model out because it's only a front wheel drive model, and I figured getting into the summertime, you probably don't really need the all wheel drive right now, so there's no point paying extra for that. Uh, it's a really nice vehicle overall. It's got great looks and super, super comfortable uh, seating in it. Uh, I'll take a quick peek in the interior here. It is push button start, so you get the button on the door handle here to lock and unlock the vehicle. Being the base model is, is a cloth interior, but it does have the leather accents to it, so your leather armrests on the, in the center console and on the door as well. Um, and then there is also a leather siding here, kind of soft touch to make it, and just in case you rest your knees up against the side there. Um, heated seats, map and navigation with it. Uh, there is a backup camera, cruise control, all your power features, auto headlights. So despite being a base model, it really does come with a lot of features. I'll just show you the back real quick and then I'll, show, I'll hop around to the driver's side and I will show you uh, some of the features that are in it there. Huge back seats, plenty of space for any of the extra passengers you might have. There's an armrest that folds down there. And this vehicle is closer in size to the QX50 that you're looking at as well from Infinity. And there will probably be a few similarities between the two as well. Nice large back space. And you can fold the seats down. There's a little lever back here that you can use to fold the seat down. And there's just a little panel that kind of separates the two there. Folds down nice and flat. Tons of space if you need it. Sharp looking vehicle. And I'll just hop in the driver's side real quick and start up the vehicle. Uh, again, being the base model is manual seats, but you can raise and lower the seats with that there. You got your power locks, windows and mirrors on the door handle. Then I'll hop in and start her up so it is a push button start. Got your heated seat controls down here, high and low for the uh, driver and passenger. There is a dual climate control so you can set a different temperature for each side of the vehicle. And then it is a touchscreen display up here as well. So you have the three month trial period with the Sirius XM. You can click the map button here for the navigation. And then it is touchscreen all the way along the bottom here. So any one of these, you can click it just with a press of a finger there. And then if I throw it into reverse real quick, you get a nice big backup camera in it as well. So that's definitely nice to have. Uh, this one does have the wheel trace control. So uh, that orange line moves as you turn the steering wheel. That orange line kind of moves as well. So that one's a really nice one to have if you're lining everything up. But let me know what you think of this vehicle. I will follow up on the Range Rover, uh, but we do want to make sure we can get it to you at uh, a reasonable price. We don't want to get ripped off by those guys down there. Um, so I'm going to let my manager work that one out. But let me know what uh, you think of this vehicle in the meantime. Oh, I can see my breath in here. It must be pretty cold. Uh, let me know what you think of this vehicle in the meantime, and let me know if there's anything specific that you want to see as well. Have a great day, Pemba, and well, goodbye.